He didn't make it through. Sorry. What? What? But like this is what? S episode one? Uh, huh? He's on the cover. Huh? Well, well, well. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We are finally, finally back with some more Link Click. We're finally back with the second season. It has been a while, quite a long while, to be honest. The main reason why I didn't start season two earlier is because, well, I haven't recorded anything in the last like two weeks or so, two or three weeks. You might have noticed I had other videos. All of the videos that I've made in the last two or so weeks, pre-recorded. Anyway, what you have to understand is that none of this matters. What matters is that we are back with season two of Link Click. Oh my god, we are, yes. We left off episode 11 of season one with an incredible cliffhanger honestly i ha i hadn't felt that good with an anime in a long time with a show in general like i oh man i gotta fan myself Whew. jesus i'm getting heated just thinking about it oh my god that was so fucking good also because it's very hot in my room but regardless we were left off with basically the big cliffhanger of there's someone with the same power as our main boys, uh, the ability to jump into someone's body and, uh, you know, in the in the past and, uh, you know, take them over. I seem to remember that um, I didn't really talk about the fact that whoever we're fighting, and this is a very interesting thing, right? Whoever this other person is that we're fighting, this person that has the same power, they're in the future. Our boys are in the present right whoever it is is in the future now that's fucked i have i have no idea where we're gonna go from here i assume i i think um you know considering we left off straight uh when when um mr lou got stabbed uh i think most likely he's probably gonna go to the hospital and then we're gonna you know go from there or something let's just jump into Link Click Season 2 Episode 1. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you mean couldn't have killed that woman? We have the proof. It'd be impossible. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So it's true. There was a witness after all. Interesting. What did you just say? What if you mean was you're another one of his friends, eh? I would, dude. I mean, I just want to say something. Uh, there was there was an unfortunate thing that I uh, encountered. Um, I I you know I have this tendency of like let's just say you know procuring music. Uh, especially like anime OSTs and stuff of of soundtracks that I really like, and then I listen to them you know, on my own. And with Link Click, you know, I, I started listening to the, the, the song, the, the ending song, right? And then I, I wanted to listen to the, the soundtrack that played in the last episode, uh, last episode of the, of, of the first season during, like, when the shit started going bad, right? Uh, but apparently, like, I went through all the OSTs and, and it just doesn't exist. And I was disappointed. So if like if there is some sort of version somewhere, if anyone if anyone knows, then uh... you're another one of his friends, eh? You can possess people too, Anna. You can possess people too. Oh shit. Death isn't something any one of us can change. Look on! The best we can do is accept it. So please, don't let this be another burden for you to carry. Look on! 
Hey, you and I still have some talking to do. Oh Unless shit! You want me to finish what I started? Oh shit! I I did not expect to just go on from here. I I thought, I thought the guy would just like leave her body right after this, and then just they would take him to the hospital. I. Oh wow! Okay, okay. You said his name was Lu Guang, right? Well, now I know who it was that locked me inside the dark room with you. You were controlling Liu Min. What do you want? Who are you? If you keep shouting like that, those cops outside are going to come in. <laughs> Not so good for this girl I'm possessing. She might just wind up in jail. Let's hold out until six, and then we can check in. Uh-oh. He's bleeding badly. I can't just stand here and do nothing. If I can get the knife, then I can take this guy down and help Lu Guang. Fine, you win. Ooh. How do you get out of this situation? Because no matter what happens, right, somebody stabbed the white-haired kid, right? Like, you take him to the hospital, and it's like, well, who stabbed him? Right? Like, if you were to just call an ambulance right now, even if, even if she, like, hides somewhere, it's like, who stabbed them? You know, how do you, how do you get out of this? How, how do you, do you say like, oh, uh, some uh, random guy came through the window, we had the window open, he jumped in somehow and then uh, like stabbed the guy and then ran off. I mean, come on, right? Like, th that's not gonna fly. Not most likely anyway. I mean, how do you, how, what do you even do in this situation? <laughs> so we're finally getting somewhere, but we can't negotiate yet. You see, this relationship lacks honesty. And I need you to prove to me that I can trust you again. How do I do that? Tell the truth. What exactly is that power of yours? I can't quite figure it out. Although I'm fairly certain about how you activate it. You clap. Am I right? Go ahead. What kind of limits does it have? I'm just dying to find out. Interesting. Okay, so it's not exactly the same power. So maybe this person isn't exactly in the future. Could be that there. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, if I was writing this, <laughs> we're, we've we've come back to that again. Okay, if I was writing this, I would have them be in the future. It would make things a lot more difficult for the protagonists for the heroes, but uh, with enough time, I could probably come up with some sort of trick or like maneuver that you could potentially uh, capture or confront someone in the future. And overall, it's just cooler that way. Teleport. I can go anywhere as long as I have a clear image of it in my mind, but I need focus. Otherwise, I can't go as far. So yeah, that's why I need a closed environment. So I could concentrate on fighting you. I told you not to lie! <laughs> See, you can fool me, but she sees right through you. <laughs> uh oh. No! <laughs> I can't believe it's been right in front of me. You covered that dark room with photos, because you need them as well. Using photos of my past victims was a clever move. I assumed they were there to rile me up. <laughs> Teleporting with pictures. Talk about a convenient power. I think I might take it. See what kind of trouble I can get into. You can do that. Wait, what? Are we doing? Are, are we doing like a like a? Fuck! What was his name? Um. Uh, are we doing a Siler from from Heroes? I think that was the name. You know, the guy who, like, cut open people's brains and then, like, I don't know, like, ate part of their brains or something. I don't think he actually ate their brains, but, like, you know, he cut over, open their brains and then figured out how their brains worked and then he could copy their powers or steal. Well, uh, copy, I guess. Copy their powers, yeah. Come at me with a knife. <laughs> it's natural to move away from what you're afraid of. In a fight, this gives your opponent more range to attack. Oh, okay. So when ooh, ooh. You 
can't let fear control you. The way to win is to face it head on. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You see, now that, now that was some good fighting. That was some good choreography. You see, you see, dude, they did one of those things. Pretty sure there was that, uh, you know, if you've been um, in the Star Wars scene for a long time, you've probably seen that clip where, where uh, how uh, I think like Anakin and Dooku, like full fight was supposed to be, or like the what the full fight was supposed to be. And they, they, they kind of did the same like thing here where like she like the hand with the knife got like stopped and then she dropped the knife and grabbed it with the other one yeah like like straight like behind right like that that's cool that's fucking cool that's enough fun for today so let's pick this up again later my new friend mr chun uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now this was this is what I was waiting for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good. Mr. Lu? This is not good. I guess it's the decision. You have to make the decision of like which one of them goes to jail or like which one of them gets brought in i'm guessing Lu uh i'm guessing um chong is gonna make the decision to essentially take the take the fall do i think that's the correct way to do things <sighs> on one hand he can get out of jail potentially you know it, it, worse comes to worse he can get out of jail on the other hand it would be easier for him to solve the case if he was outside mr chung you need to come with going? us we have some questions to ask you he's been stabbed mr chung call an ambulance now drop the knife don't move put your hands where i can see them right now <laughs> dispatch go ahead there's been a stabbing we need it's okay stay calm Forget me! Please, somebody save him! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Surgery, immediately. Sir, heart rate's dropping. Blood oxygen at 60. Applying pressure. I know how it looks, but I swear, I didn't stab anyone. It was Emma's murderer. He controls people. He was possessing Liu Min. Mm. Why would I want to hurt Lu Guang? He's family to me. True. In, in these situations, it's kind of like, there's a reason why you need motive, right? Like most of the time, I, I would imagine you need evidence and proof, right? And there is evidence that, you know, they were the ones who killed, or not killed him, stabbed him. Blood on their hands, weapon in their hands, no one else in the room. Uh, you know, it, it's looking pretty bad. But a lot of the time, you do need, how do I say this? If you create a situation where like two people, maybe even three people, who are really close, like family members, and they have never had any problems. And then you find that one of them has been stabbed. And it's like, everything points to the people in the room. And yet, what's the motive? Right? Like, out of the three people in the room, even if the, the two others were the ones that stabbed the, the first person, there has to be a reason for it. Right? People don't just stab people randomly for no reason. It could very well be, for instance, right? Let's say the two people stabbed the first person, but what if they were goaded into it? Like for instance, they were shown proof that if they don't stab the guy, loads of people are gonna die or something like that, right? Would you still 
be thrown in prison for killing someone, let's say. I guess the, the question I'm trying to ask is, would you still be thrown into prison if you killed someone to save thousands of lives? Unfortunately, with the law, yes, you would. Unless, unless the person in question, the person who got stabbed, says or d doesn't press charges. Or does that not matter? I, I don't know. I don't know law. Anyway, let's keep going. Listening. I saw him make him a jump. What were you doing there? Wasting our time with these stories won't help you. I mean, there yeah. Were three people there, and you were holding the knife. From what we saw, it doesn't look like the girl did it. You're all that's left. Yet you're saying our cult. Yeah, I suppose they did see him with the knife. They didn't exactly see them fight. Someone you can't even prove exists. Well, well, actually. Actually, he can prove. That's the thing, right? He can just use his power on his own anyway. And I'm glad we saw that happen in the last season. Can so he can... He can prove it. And good that he's doing this, because I was about to say, like, he, there is one person who... Who, uh, who believes in this power, so... Get him on, you know, on your side. Alright. You can call him... How could we have known? It wasn't even a minute. We rushed back in as soon as we saw what he was doing. Hey, what's up? Did you watch Who's that? Interrogation? We're and? waiting at the ER. I know, but how could he strangle himself in that short amount of time? Wait, what? There's one thing after him. He didn't die, did he? Before what? Did you inform his family? Yeah, I took care of it. But... It won't be long before the metaverse takes off, right? So the what now? What did he say? Metaverse? About that, by the way. They lost billions. He didn't die, right? They, they were talking about telling his family? What? Huh? As long as he's still breathing, you do not call me. Oh, I guess, I guess, yeah, they were talking about, uh, the blonde haired guys. Because he tried to kill himself, right? And uh, he went to the hospital, I guess. I'm getting the vibe that they're going to that they're introducing someone who is obvious, too obviously the killer, too obviously the bad guy. Okay, I'm gonna make a little. Just gonna say something real quick. I hope to God, and you know, funny, funny, I should mention this, because uh, someone actually brought up um, another time travel show, uh, fuck, what was the name of that show? Uh, I don't remember what the name of it was, uh, but it was basically like, main character goes back in time to into his like younger body or something, and then tries to save a little girl or something, uh, I don't remember what it was called, I'm really not good with names, but I had seen that uh, show already, and in that show, the villain was kind of introduced, there was a character that was too obviously the villain, and so people were like, there's no way this guy is the villain, right, there's no way this guy is the mastermind, he must be an obvious red herring, right? but turned out he actually was the, the villain, right? So I'm hoping that they're not doing something like that here. Like, I don't want, I, I want, if I was writing this, well, again, if I was writing this, right? I want the, the mastermind to, to be someone that we would just not expect. If I was writing this, I would make it someone who we have, who we get introduced to, sure, but we cannot tell who it is. I'm still, I'm still betting on the fucking camera guy. You see, I mean, the guy looks kind of evil, right? Like, I'm hoping that that's not the, that's not the guy. Here, I got you takeout. Hold on. Do you know how Lu Guang is doing? He didn't make it through. Sorry. What? What? But like this is what? S episode one, uh, huh? He's on the cover, huh? 
Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Don't start bringing people back from the dead. Don't start bringing people back from the dead. No, no, no. The best... Sh well, okay. There are a couple of things they could be doing. They could be doing kind of like... He's going to start going back in time to try to change things, but he can't. And then, you know, like, it's kind of like, you know, Steins hit zero, for instance. You know, you have uh, Kurisu uh, not really in the picture for a while, right? Because she's gone. Uh, but she kind of shows up in other timelines and like flashbacks and stuff like that. So, so I'm hope like, if you know me. Okay, if you truly know me, you know that I fucking hate it when shows resurrect characters. I, yeah, I, I, I fucking, I, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. Like, if you can do it, and bear in mind, I, I think if there's one instance where resurrection can be done well, it's time travel. So there is the possibility for them to do it well, like Steinsgate did. But it has to be like a, like literally, like the, at the very, very end of the show. You have to convince me. You have to fully convince me that this is legitimate. You know, that, th that this is somehow perfectly, um, perfectly set up. Because the entire first season essentially convinced me that no, death cannot be changed. So I'm hoping that they don't go against that now. I'm hoping that no matter what happens, that there's going to be consequences. And by consequences, I mean, like, losses. I'm hoping that they don't just write off those losses, you know? I'm hoping that they don't just resurrect Lu Guang now. Like, for instance, right? That guy just said, Lu didn't make it. Immediately, I'm thinking, well, what if Chung, in the future, maybe even Lu Guang as well, in the future, because he actually survived, they, in the future, went back in time, told this guard that he didn't make it, to tell his past self that Lou didn't make it. See? Like, you can do shit like that to make Lou still alive, or something. If you can explain it to me, and convince me that Lou is still alive, then, then you're fine. But if he actually is dead, and then you try to bring him back somehow, and you don't convince me perfectly? Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be bad. Yes, eat your eat your troubles away. You wash this. I already did it last night. Moron. And Sean is male. Don't try and change the past. Alright? Wait a second. I can go back and make sure none of this happens at all. Uh, don't try to change the past. And yet I cannot, I cannot say that he shouldn't do it. You know, it, it's like, would I try if I had the power? Yeah. Yeah. If it was someone that I truly cared about, I probably would try. I would at least try. If I failed a bunch of times and I couldn't figure out uh, any other possibility, then I would give up. But I would try, probably. I just seen the photo. Then I can save Lu Guang. Shen Xia, you're free to go. Captain Xiao said to pick you up. This is the guy, I'm telling you. This is the guy, 100%. I'm betting, I'm betting on this guy. I'm telling you, he's too normal. He's too normal. He, he, he's the type... I just, it's my gut instinct. And if he is the guy, then, God damn it, yes. The more they show this guy, the more I think, yes, I'm right. Where did you take this? It looks recent. Oh, it's from when we got married. What? Uh, nothing. <sighs> Time sure flies. I took that two years ago, and we still haven't had our ceremony. Two years. That's more than enough time. 
I could go back and change everything. Hmm. 12 hours though, right? Past and the future must remain untouched. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I, oh my, I, I know I keep pausing a, a lot this episode, but like, Jesus, how does Lou know so much? Because Lou didn't have the ability to go back in time into the photos. He didn't have that power. He had the power to see into the past, yes, but he didn't have the power to actually go back into the past and change things. So how does he how does he know so much? Like he seems to know more about Chung's power than Chung does, right? How? There's got to be there's got to be some sort of origin story. We don't want you to see Liu Guang looking like that. I appreciate it. I I I wonder what uh I wonder what Chao is thinking like how she is cuz I mean imagine it's such a it's so good you know imagine waking up and being like oh shit someone stabbed my friend and killed him while possessing my body like uh, that's just gut wrenching In before he's not dead. Yep. Son of a bitch, I fucking knew it. I mean, well done, well done. Smart, actually. Very smart. Yeah, the, ooh, that's that's super smart. Holy shit. Okay. It, oh, my 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 mind is blowing. Okay, my mind is firing right now. If you're fighting someone, assuming that we are fighting someone who is in the future, the first thing you want to immediately start doing is giving off false information. Because if they are in the future, they can see the information that is presented to the public. Or, or you know, they can see information that is older. The information that you are giving out in the present, they can already see in the future. So you have to be giving out false information to protect yourself. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the past, I guess, it, it gets complicated, but you know, essentially that is, that is, in my opinion, definitely one of the best ways to fight against someone in the future is to start giving out false information in the, in the present. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up, bro. How in the world are you still alive? Sorry to disappoint, idiot. That all came out very wrong. Just get out so I can sleep. Captain. Someone told me that Lu Gorn was dead. That was deliberate false info for Lu Gorn's protection. Good. You means the one who died. I didn't give you the details because you told me that you already knew, or I thought you did. I asked you if you were filled in, remember? How would I know that's what you meant? Maybe try being oh. a bit more direct next time. I, I, I fully, I was fully like, oh, they probably told everyone, including the police, false information because you know. Obviously, for obvious reasons. How are you? I know everything that happened. That I was the one who stabbed Lu Guang. But this guy does have the power to control people. Liu Min didn't kill himself. He was used in the same way Chao Ling was. Wait, what? How'd this happen? I don't care that he's dead. What happened to his belongings? The suspect in a murder case. All his things are evidence now. I'll figure out something. But no matter what, it won't be easy. I don't care what you have to do. I'm not paying for half measures. I'm paying for results. Do not stop until his phone is in my hands. This is all we've got now. Can you check the recent photos? See what you can learn with that power of yours. Find something we couldn't. What's in the phone? Hey, that's Officer Chen's phone. Chen B? Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming with you. <laughs> uh, 
Actually, it might be better if I stay. Did you find him? Not yet. It's like he vanished. Did you notice anything strange when he picked you up? Dark room, quiet night, Wu Jin Long, Chao Zhao. Okay, first off, I kind of wish they didn't change the ending, but what the f? fuck is going on bro i was like yes i knew it haha <laughs> i get fucked i fucking knew he was the, the the culprit well there goes my theory i guess what the f so what what connection did he have i'm guessing okay so, so i'm guessing this is liu min or whatever the, the blonde guy whatever his name was this is his phone he was probably involved with Basically, they, I think they were like embezzling funds uh, out of that company, and I'm guessing on his phone there, uh, there was probably evidence. That's why they wanted to get their hands on the phone so badly, and then the evidence immediately is, oh no, this police guy photo. Why would this picture be the, the phone's home screen? Ah, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, why is... Why, why is this picture on the blonde haired guy's phone? Maybe I'm missing something. I, maybe, maybe I'm just dumb right now. I, who knows? Point is, uh, I thought this was, this guy was going to be the guy, but I guess not. He just got taken over and, and jumped off the fucking, jumped off the roof. In this, like, confrontation when they were talking, the culprit, the bad guy here, S seemed to have uh, he didn't seem to know how the power worked which means which makes me think that they don't have the same power which uh, well we can't really be sure if he's in the future or not however no he has to be in the future he has to be because when he took over emma's body he said so there was a witness after all interesting right there was a witness, which means he's, he spoke about the fact as if the event had already happened. I don't know. And yet, at the same time, I don't think... I don't think he has the same exact power, because he seems to be able to just take people over at any time. Just out of nowhere. So it's like, he seems to be able to take people over without a picture. He doesn't need a picture. Yeah, I mean... Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But unfortunately, I have to stop watching. I, I, I want to watch the next episode immediately, but uh, fortunately, I still have things to do today. So for now, I hope you enjoyed Link Click Season 2 Episode 1. I can't believe the camera guy is dead. I fully thought he was going to be the guy. Well, I guess I'll see you next time on Link Click. I bid you adieu. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.